Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm Kathy. And we're at the bottle show. Yeah, bottle swap at Seaconk Mass. Leonard's Antiques, Seaconk Mass. Okay. First table. Very nice bottles at this table. Civil War trenches in Beverly, West Virginia. Oh, did you see by bottles? Anybody? Anybody? Pence. Pence. <laughs> Pence. 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 Well, I dug them for free. I know that. Give us a show. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I never heard of that one. What did you say? You got everything in a couple bucks? What do you want for that? Yeah, you could play that. This house is like a museum. They said it has over 10,000 bottles on shelves to display. I was just saying this morning. It's, 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 it's overwhelming, yeah. It's uh, cool. Yeah, we had a good, good day for this. Yeah. Some of the crap weather we had kind of recently. Yeah, so it was saying it was rain like a week ago. Yeah. And then it changed. I'm like, okay. Yeah. 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 Taylor's got some uh, quite a bit of bottles, I heard. Yeah. Mr. Rhode Island. Yeah, no rush. Take your time. I'm on my way down. Though. Oh, yeah. We're just Are you? Nice. I love looking, but I'm like, I tell him sometimes I love digging instead of mocking. Oh, yeah. I, I don't blame him there. Yeah, I haven't looked at these yet. Well, this one over here is $7.50 per puck. That's cool. Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, but that thing's gorgeous. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, this is just a sample. I've got Wow. I know, like, look at this nostalgic bottle right there. I had one of these in the Yeah, I was thinking that one before. I had one in Aqua, so not as a. Yeah, it's the kind of stuff I bought a bottle I got my wife with, like, I'd be sleeping outside for a week. Right. Don't make that decision. I just I just bought a I don't know if I put a, a post up like baseball to Johnny Bench <laughs> rookie. But would have been cool we would have said Lots of little bottles here. I don't get smoked because I And I found one already. It's a sample. Free sample. three and one. Prevents rust. Cleans, polishes, lubricates. Blown in mold. Two dollars. Two dollars for this. You did a nice clean out of something that's still in their cartons from. Yeah. Wow.
you know, I can set it. Oh, they're obviously old bottles, but they're in old boxes. I could hear the groaning. Yeah. This guy's got some bottles. Too bad about this one. Look at that. Oh. Oh no. Start a nice little pile for a Hey, this 50 cents. Just getting by this guy might take me a while. I don't know. If he goes easy, I'm probably at the He's going back here. Yeah, he's gonna go easy on me, though. Yeah. yeah. Is this a swamp root slug? Yeah. Swamp root slug. Yeah, this is a good clean out. We have 90% of these bottles, still nice to reveal them again. Yeah. Look at this clock. Yeah, it would be fun, definitely. This is some clock, so what can, what can you tell us about the clock? So I don't know too much history about it, but I know it's a Willard. Uh, it says it right here on the glass. The glass is reverse painted. Um, Willard was the first clockmaker to ever come to the United was States. This years ago when uh, they started someone, in Roxbury, Massachusetts. Really? Uh, yeah. Simon Willard, who was the son of Benjamin Willard, started making banjo clocks around 1810 and continued making them, I would say, until like the 50s. Um, it was a banjo clock, so it was meant to be high mounted. It was like. Uh, mounted in high regards because it was a, a fancy clock for the time. Oh. Um, I love the finial up there, the eagle. Yeah, the finial was really cool. The bottom here opens up and reveals the pendulum, the reverse painted glass on the back side. And uh, all this in here is wood, all the, the gear gears inside and mechanisms are wood. It's all hand carved. I don't think it's that old. I just want to put it in it's a window. It's a really unique cool. piece. We know the CPS yeah. yeah. So it's a long time. Oh, I put it back. Nice. I give it to someone as a yeah. present. Started like Merry Christmas now. I would <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Like that. Okay, I just got the three of these for $10. This is a blob top. J.H. Costello and Company, Bottlers, Boston, Mass. Complete lightning stopper. This is Holland Wine Company, four stores, Boston. With most of the label. And this is a heart shorn that Kathy doesn't think she has. Call three for ten dollars.
I'm taking that dairy stuff. Okay, so you got this, you got the bottle, you got the jelly skin. Oh, you don't like play? I don't play? even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful this morning. No. Oh, I know. And tomorrow it's going to be even cloudy like this. Must be grandchildren you were watching. Yeah, the grandson. <laughs> T-ball. <laughs> we have tomorrow softball. Uh, oh, okay. Girls tournament. Yeah. Yeah, he's only four and a half. Oh, so a little. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah they do three innings or something. Yeah. I know, I get up at 6 to be there for 8 at 4, but 3 anyways, but I don't want to knock out. It's a lot to the kids to see you there. You know? You know, yeah. You know, he barely drops to it, but that's okay. Well, but at least he knows you were there. Yeah. Well, that's right. My mother didn't live long enough to see her grandkids drink by herself. We have friends on We have a lot of people. I only have four, so I can get to get there. No, I know. But at least you get to see them. They know we're there. Looking for everything. It's cute. I don't know anything about it, but it's cute. <laughs> I have the figural shoe perfume bottles, but oh, that's cute. Settled on these two at this table. Got all the bubbles in this. It's got a ground whip. And this little shoe.
Oh my gosh, look at what Drew found. I didn't even know this bottle existed. My husband is. G three twelve. My husband is more familiar with those. He he collects that kind of stuff. That's called the G three twelve, I believe. Yeah. Well, I guess I just call it an urn cornucopia. Yeah, it is. But I don't I don't know the numbers. Cornucopia is backwards. Well, usually they normally turn to the left. Huh. That one turns to the right to something. Huh. That's a real of the wire again. It's the only one that does turn that way. Look at the bottles on this table. This is some nice stuff. Look at these decanters. Lost the sun. Milk bottles. Oh, 
Montello Mass. I don't even know where that is. What is it? Part of Brockton. Oh, it's part of Brockton. Huh. I learned something. Yeah, the milk, the painted sodas is Rhode Island stuff, Massachusetts stuff. I see it take stuff over there on the white table cloth. Do you have any idea where this one is? Oh, it says on it. It says Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. I see it on the shoulder. <laughs> I have a similar style bottle from Mass. Look, I found a marble. I can go home now. Drew's not here to say that. He went to use lunch. Nice marble here. Nice shooter. $10.
Wow, it's the size of this one. That is huge. Oh, look at this. Look at the scene on here. Wow, that's a big insulator. It's actually, it's a big robot, look at the eyes. Oh wow. Look how cool the eyes are on both sides. You know? Yeah. Oh, that is, a, that is a neat bottle. Yeah, probably an import from Italy, I don't know, but... It's probably the first time I ever bring it to a show. That is a cool bottle. Look at what I bought. Bennett's Lumatica. Never heard of it. Bottles I got, but we didn't record. This is a Bonnie Brothers whiskey quart. As Kathy found a pint, I think it was, in the river, a flask. So this is a nice clean quart to go with it. $25. This was actually part of a trade. This was a find Bennett's Pneumatica. Nice applied lip, probably 1870s. Uh, research tells us it's from Fall River. Need to find out some more about it because I never heard of it. This is one that Kathy never heard of, me neither. Murphy's Rheumatic Cure, DJ Murphy Company, Lowell, Mass, USA. This is Hartshorn's Family Medicines for Kathy. She collects the Hartshorn bottles. This one still has all the contents stained, contents solidified in it. So I'm going to try to soak it with uh, some rubbing alcohol and see if that stuff will go back into solution. It was all alcohol based. This one has peened out where it used to say Berlin series, top and bottom, above and below the bullseye. Wow, it's cleaning up. Yeah, that crud was all alcohol-based originally. It was, so put some rubbing alcohol in there and it'll go back into solution. Sounds like a solution to me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm.
This is one I couldn't pass up. Langley's Root and Herb Bitters, 99 Union Street, Boston. Uh, light green, very deep aqua color. Seller made me an offer I couldn't refuse. is Holland Wine Company, four stores, Boston Flask, most of the label, still intact, that was only a few dollars. This is another heart shorn bottle for Kathy. Unfortunately, it's got a lip chip. But it was priced accordingly. It's a rare bottle. It's smooth base, early smooth base. But it's pretty rare and one that Kathy doesn't have. This is Peruvian syrup, smooth base. Uh, Kathy found a rectangular Peruvian syrup in the river, so this goes with that. So part of the trade. This I traded for. This is a Drake's Plantation Bitters. I collect these, different colors and so forth. I traded Cam uh, Ellenville Cylinder Whiskey for this bottle. I also got this in a trade. This is a uh, Stafford's inks, which we have in several different sizes, but we don't have with this lip treatment. Three beers. This is J.H. Costello and Company. Bottle is Boston Mass. The lightning stopper. This is John Lyons, wholesale dealer in wines and liquors. Corner Beach at South Streets, Boston. We have the stoneware jug to go with this one. And last we got G. Rothfuss and Company, Boston, Mass. 
Nice beer. That's it.